Well, tonight we're getting a closer look at a plan to legalize recreational marijuana in Minnesota. Democrats unveiled their new cannabis bill today. Gordon Severson is here now with the big question, will it pass? Gordon? Well, authors of the cannabis bill say that this version is almost identical to the version that was proposed last year, which did make it through the Democrat-controlled House but failed in the Republican-controlled Senate. This time around, Democrats control both, but leaders caution that by no means is it a sure thing that this will pass. There will be some challenges. Good morning. Democrats say the idea of legalizing cannabis in Minnesota may sound simple in theory but there's a lot that goes into it. It's not a thin uh, bill, it's, it is comprehensive. <laughs> Outlining every detail from the amount people can carry in public up to two ounces and how much they can have at their private residence, up to five pounds. Also the age requirement, 21 and older, and restrictions on who can sell it. Our bill will create a safe, well-regulated, legal marketplace where Minnesotans can grow, sell and buy cannabis if they choose to do so. The bill also includes a provision that would expunge several criminal records and offenses that involve cannabis. This is a racial justice issue and as we have heard, the harm that has been done to communities of color needs to end. There's also the issue of enforcement, which is a big concern for the bill's opponents with Minnesotans against marijuana legalization. Legalizing recreational marijuana will unleash more impaired drivers on Minnesota roadways. Governor Walls tweeted Thursday morning that he is, quote, ready to sign it into law. House Democrats are also confident it will pass with their members. But Senate leaders say the bill will face some resistance in the Senate. We are committed to moving this through the process this year. The Democrats hold a slim one-vote majority in the Senate, so every Democrat would need to come together to pass it. Also, House Speaker Melissa Hortman says the bill well, isn't necessarily is a priority this session, which is reflected by the number that's assigned to it, House File 100. That shows you that there are 99 bills um, that uh, made the cut sooner than cannabis. So if you look at the top, uh, I think about 30, 35 bills, you'll see where we're going to be spending uh, the vast majority of our time this session. The Republican Senate Minority Leader also sent out a statement this afternoon responding to this bill. In the statement, he doesn't specifically say whether Senate Republicans will support this bill or not support it, though he does have some concerns and he would like to get more insight from stakeholders such as law enforcement and drug addiction counselors to see if this is the right thing for Minnesota. The first public hearing for the bill is scheduled for next Wednesday in the House Commerce Committee and the first Senate Committee will take a look at it later this month. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Gordon.